to keep you updated, Listín Diario, the newspaper for the Dominicans, presents the most important news of the day. Tuesday, June 4th of 2024. Several hooded criminals broke into the Banco Popular branch of Avenida Luperón with Olof Palme yesterday afternoon in the capital, taking with them an undetermined sum of money. The police investigate the assault. The beginning of the cyclonic season has a spread among the population of the sectors of Gran Santo Domingo, a homogeneous mixture between an intense fear of the negative consequences of the constant rains that are expected and the feeling of habit hidden behind a it's nothing we don't already know. The Emergency Operations Center, COE, increased the provinces on alert to 26, 18 yellow and 18 remaining green as a result of the incident of a drop over the national territory that could generate possible sudden floods in urban and rural areas. The Minister of Public Health, Victor Atala, highlighted that the country is experiencing an increase in respiratory viral diseases and advises the population that if they present symptoms, go to the doctor or hospital emergency. The heavy rains that have affected the country in recent days have generated an increase in viral diseases in the province of La Vega. The third criminal chamber of the Court of Appeal of the Natural District yesterday rejected eliminating the measure of housing jail and the use of a bracelet placed on the former head of the Presidential Security Corps, CUSEP, Major General Adán Cáceres Silvestre, the main defendant in the case of corruption called Coral. According to a specialist from the Inter-American Development Bank, from the World Bank and the International Monetary Fund, the Latin American and Caribbean region, highly in debt after the pandemic, needs to apply structural reforms aimed at guaranteeing better equity and fiscal consolidation. We also present an interesting story about the young Lisbeth Cruz, who at 24 years old battles cancer with the best of attitudes and although she lost her mother due to the same disease, maintains faith in leading a normal life. For this and more information, you can visit listindiario.com for Listing Diario voiceover and translations by Indira Rodriguez. To keep you updated, Listín Diario, the newspaper for the Dominicans, presented the most important news of the day.